Nine out of ten crystal skulls agree. Click like and subscribe to the Heavy Underground. Ooh, that one skull, let me tell you. With the first of two planned releases for 2019 being released into the digital ether, Drone Master's Sun O begin the year on a more contemplative note with the new album Life Metal. Recorded and mixed by legendary noise rock agitator Steve Albini, Life Metal was committed to analog tape at Albini's Electric Audio Studio Compound in Chicago, Illinois. Announcing a spring sojourn across the United States in support of this album, Pittsburgh was not listed in the initial tour announcement. However, a few additional dates would find the Carnegie Music Hall of Homestead soon added to the band's select list of dates. Joined by the one-man musical entity known as Papa M, brothers O'Malley and Anderson select April 27, 2019 to enshroud the city of Pittsburgh in copious amounts of smoke and wave after glorious wave of feedback-laced distortion. Nonchalantly taking the stage, the one-man band known as Papa M situates himself in the middle of the stage with a single chair, two guitars, and an array of effect pedals fanned out in front of him. Papa M's singular visionary is David Pajo. Pajo's early career was spent in the highly influential post-rock band Slint. Involvement in a number of other important bands would follow, including Tortoise, Stereolab, Interpol, and Zwan, amongst numerous others. Diving in and out of hardcore, post-rock, indie, math rock, slowcore, and electronica over the past 35 years, David Pajo's widely varied career has presented many faces with his multifarious musical output, and one of the most frequent outlets over the past two decades for his muse has been Papa M. Loops and digital delays haunt Papa M's one-man musical expanse. As rhythm tracks rise and fall within the roiling tempest, David Pajo adorns the stark perpetual motion with sonic washes and his circling six-string simplicity. At certain moments, Papa M's drifting musical eloquence seems to provide a home for all of the interstitial interludes and transitory parts from Nine Inch Nails' The Downward Spiral. Plaintive and understated guitar runs cross wires with classically picked passages as the sands run low on Papa M's short but interesting performance. Crafting a stark and affecting set from such sparse accompaniment, David Pajo distills a 35-year career of understated rock excellence into a 24-minute sonic journey. Indulging my third opportunity to reflect at the Shrine of Sun O, April 27, 2019 finds the Drone Masters musical haze shrouding the city of Pittsburgh once more. An appearance at the Carnegie Music Hall of Homestead provides a properly antiquated backdrop for the band's slowly moving musical tempest. Band maestros Stephen O'Malley and Greg Anderson are joined on their most recent touring endeavor by longtime collaborators Oren Embarki on additional guitar, TOS, a.k.a. Toss Neuenheisen, on keyboards, and Steve Moore on second keyboard and trombone. Without longtime vocalist Attila Sihar or the cello and voice of life metal collaborator Hildur Goodnatadir, Sun O will let their crushing tectonic drone speak for itself with a full instrumental affront. Supporting their just-released life metal album, officially released the day before the show on April 26th, Sun O bring their living, breathing drone atmospherics to Pittsburgh, in celebration of their most recent slab of rumbling heaviness. Once the level of fog had reached maximum viscosity, the crushing onslaught of what I believe to be Isengard lumbers to suffocating life. Harrowing squalls of feedback pierce the night before returning to the song's perigee with an acerbic bite. Isengard soon begins a subtle transition into the warbling feedback of hunting and gathering Cydonia. Cycling slower and lower, Cydonia washes over the crowd with an earth-shearing drone singularity. Deeply resonant, the night's all-instrumental affront sets a bruising standard with Cydonia's moob-drenched roar. Turning to the recently released life metal, Nove unleashes a celestial vacuum of heavyweight tone and distortion. The band, occasionally visible through the ever-present fog, offer up a grime-coated tempest to overwhelm the audience. Shrieking guitar and domineering bass 
helped to conduct Novae to a dissembling end. A sparse and meandering passage follows as Papa M's David Pajo quietly appears, guitar in hand on the right side of the stage. Weaving a spidery presence, Pajo's guitar interlaces with a somber trombone call from Steve Moore to craft a ghostly rumination laced with impending doom. Returning to the haze from whence he came, David Pajo makes his exit as the brothers and drones Sun O pull together to flatten the air with another new track from Life Metal. Aurora ends the main set with a unified cry. Molten distortion and glacial heft carry the earthquaking destruction with a regal, atonal roar taking control before devolving into a pulverizing upheaval of distortion, feedback, and noise to end the set. After allowing a moment for a brief respite, the hooded members of Sun O soon return to the stage for an encore. A billowing rush of organ and synth quickly pulses forward before a total cessation leaves the powerful hum of the band's amplifier backline growling in the still fog-shrouded darkness. Once again joined by Papa M's David Pajo, Sun O initiate an extended section of simmering resolve. Settling into an uneasy drone, Pajo's dark and slow guitar work weaves its spasmodic presence as the band deploys a subdued strength that ebbs and flows throughout. A tenebrous, psychedelic wash overcomes the crowd before an extended drawdown evokes a celestial giant receding into the deep bringing closure to an exquisitely crushing night. One's shadowy forms glimpsed in slow motion roar from within the fog shrouded depths soon give way to hooded humanoids moving about the stage. Slowly the band emerges from the haze to greet the crowd as brothers O'Malley, Anderson, Embarky, Moore, and Neuenheisen, along with brother Pajo, meet at center stage to take a bow. A standing ovation greets the band in celebration of nearly two hours of subtly shifting glacial heaviness. Focusing primarily on the recently released Life Metal album, a couple of choice cuts from the band's extensive discography rise and fall amongst the maelstrom, while David Paja's jangling guitar intercedes on occasion as the band seeks drone nirvana. Upon the band's exit, the crowd slowly follows the dissipating fog into the night, harder of hearing and probably an inch or two shorter having felt and experienced the intense gravitational heft of the mighty masters of drones, Sun-O.